Hello, this is Step School where I share lessons on robotics and programming STM32 to microcontrollers. If you're into this, please subscribe to my channel and visit my website. In this video, we will learn static, extern, and volatile keywords. And let's start from static keyword. For that purpose, I defined this simple function where we have just one local variable. I increment its value and finally I use printer function. Then I call this function, let's say, four times within our main function. And if we run the code, we get this message, which is reasonable because we have this variable, its value is equal to zero, then we increment, so its value becomes one, so we, we print its value. Next, I'm going to use a keyword static when defining this local variable and if we run this code we get completely different result when using static keyword the cpu will retain the value of, of the variable so at the beginning the value of this variable is zero we increment its value becomes one that's why we have this message and when we call this function again Instead of having value zero, its val the value of this variable is one because of this static keyword. And we increment its value and its, its value becomes two. And when we call again, we have three and four at the end. So when using static keyword, the, the CPU will not erase the value of a local variable. It will just keep its value. And also you might ask, what's the meaning of using static keywords? Because we can accomplish this logic using just a global variable. For example, I can copy it and paste it here. I can remove static. And if I run the game, we have exactly the same result. However, when we use a global variable, we just expose this variable to other functions, other, other files. So you might accidentally change its value and everything would be mess. But if we use a keyword static and you use a local variable, only this function has an access to this variable. Next, let me explain a keyword extend. For that purpose, we have just one global variable. Extend keyword is necessary to access to a variable define it in another file. Uh, for example, I want to access to this variable, but from this source file. For that purpose, I define um, uh, the, the variable, the same, the same name, the same data type, but in front of that, I have to use a keyword extend. As an example, I have this function where I just increment the value of this variable and I print it. Next, I'm going to use that function within, within, within main function. And if I run the code, I got one because the value of this variable is zero. I increment here, it, its value becomes one. But for instance, if I initialize the value of this variable as five and run the code, I get six. Uh, to summarize, we need extern keyword to access uh, to a variable defined in another file. In our case, we def we accessed. In our case, we had an access to this variable defined within main source file. Next, let me explain a keyword volatile. Very important when we have multiple threads or when you program the microcontrollers. For that purpose, I will write just a pseudocode. Imagine that we have a interrupt handler function. I call it button event handler. So when, so when someone presses a button connected to the microcontroller, this function will be invoked automatically. Within this function, I set the value of this variable to one. And of course, we have to define this variable. Within the main function, I can write this code. 
we just wait until someone presses the button using the while using this while loop and when someone presses the button we exit from this while loop and we print this message button was pressed from the software point of view everything seems fine however there's a one major problem related to this variable and let me explain that problem when the cpu executes this line it takes data basically the, the value of this variable and it loads that data to some register of, of the cpu then it does comparison In the next iteration, instead of taking fresh data from the memory, it just uses the, the value of this register. It just uses cache data and it does comparison. And due to that problem, we never exit from this while loop and we and our logic doesn't work. And you might ask why it is happening with this variable because the compiler is not aware that this function is invoked automatically without the CPU intervention. And since we are not explicitly using this function within, within main function, the compiler will do some optimization to speed up the, the code. This is completely plausible if we don't have any interrupts. Imagine that we don't have this function. In that case, taking the register value is completely fine because once we get the data, we, we don't change the value. So everything would work fine. However, since we have an interrupt that happens automatically without the CPU intervention, the, the value of this variable can be altered within this interrupt. And the CPU is not aware of that. And in that case, using the value of that register is not fine at all. And to fix that problem, we have to use a keyboard volatile. So what happens is that the compiler will not use any optimization related to this variable. So when we have this line every time um, the, the CPU will use a new fresh data from the memory.